is actually really rampant this uh, season. Like right. it's really strong strain of the influenza uh, virus. So we're going to be joined now live by satellite with influenza research specialist Dr. Flor Munoz, Munoz, MD, of the Baylor College of Medicine and Tosh Haynes. She is a 37-year-old entrepreneur and mother of two who was hospitalized for 16 days, including six in critical care as a result of complications from the flu. Ladies, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us live on Ozarks Fox AM. Thank Hi, you good for morning. having us. Good, good morning. morning. So, Doctor, why is the flu hitting so hard this season? It's difficult to tell you why, but what I can tell you is that influenza is definitely unpredictable and that we have uh, early, uh, an early, early season this year. We started seeing influenza circulating since uh, late October into November, peaking during the holidays, and we have uh, the influenza B strain uh, being the predominant strain early this, se this season with the others, influenza A types, uh, coming up at this point. So we will expect a few more weeks of influenza this year. Doctor, what, uh, after you've contracted the flu, what can you do? Is it antibiotics or is um, just uh, trying to not get the flu the better way to go in the first place? It's definitely important to try not to get the flu. So the best way to prevent influenza is to vaccinate. And, and it's not too late. Actually, this is still the time to get your flu vaccine. Uh, once you start feeling like you have uh, the flu, remember, this could be a serious illness. It can progress very rapidly. It's not just a cold. It's a fever. It's uh, body aches. It's malaise. You can have complications such as uh, Tash, and she will tell you a little bit about that. But it's important to call your doctor because there is treatment available, and the earlier you can start the treatment, the better it is. Right. And, and Tasha, I do want to get to you. Um, 16 days in the hospital, in intensive care. How are you feeling now? And how, what was the experience like for you? We're just so glad you're here and healthy yeah. now. Oh, thank you so much. I am feeling amazing now, thankfully. Um, we're a few years out from that experience, but it was it was terrifying. Um, I thought I had a cold. I didn't realize the dangers or even I didn't realize the symptoms of the flu because I was young and why would I ever get sick? Um, but unfortunately, with the flu, sometimes it partners with other illnesses. And I had pneumonia as a secondary illness. Mm. And the two of them kind of played together. And I ended up with heart failure. And those 16 days were very scary. Um, it was something that I didn't expect to ever happen. And it's a huge reason why I'm here today um, advocating with Families Fighting Flu and educating the community about just the dangers of flu, because it's so important that we're aware and that we're able to take preventative measures up front to keep ourselves out of these kinds of situations. Right, do you have any uh, lasting implications from your experience with the flu? Like, has it affected you in your life now? Do you still have lingering effects? Um, yeah, I because of the heart failure, um, I will always have to answer questions around heart disease or heart failure. Um, it's impacted me because I'm not eligible for life insurance. Those are things that you wouldn't think about in your early 30s. Um, and that's something that I will have to kind of deal with for the rest of my life. So um, I don't have long term physical effects, but there are definitely things that I'm dealing with that I'll deal with forever that I didn't expect to. And I wish that I would have been educated on the forefront and had taken preventative measures before I got sick. Oh my goodness, it's, it's something that you just don't think about, the flu becoming so serious. And I wanna ask the doctor, um, if, you, if you get the flu shot, is, is that a foolproof uh, that you will not contract the flu? So the flu vaccine is effective. It works. You do need to remember that the goal of the flu vaccine is to prevent these complications, to prevent hospitalization and to reduce your risk of uh, dying from influenza even. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the vaccine uh, has a different uh, effectiveness year by year because it's a very complicated um, match with the with the circulating strains there are several strains that are out there but you know it is really important to to think about that because once you have influenza you can have these complications mm -hmm. and it's very important to um, know that uh, you are protecting yourself and you're also protecting your family and others around you uh, that's why we we advocate so much for flu vaccine and i would also want to share with you a story similar to tash go to familiesfightingflu.org and you will see there 
there are all the stories of the impact it can have, not just again on an individual, but in the family and in the community as well. Doctor, you were talking about flu season, you can still get the shot. What is technically flu season? How much longer do we have? And how young can you get vaccinated? What age ranges are we talking about? A flu vaccine is for everyone starting at six months of age. It's an important point because you can get the vaccine at any age, uh, but young children under six months cannot receive it. So moms uh, who are pregnant should get their flu vaccine to protect them as well. And how long the season lasts is again, very difficult to say, but we have seen influenza going into the spring. Right now, we might be at the peak of the season during uh, in several parts of the country, and we will expect several more weeks. Think about flu can go into uh, March, April, and even into May sometimes, so vaccinate right now. Okay, very good. Tell us a, a little bit more about the Family Flu uh, Organization. Families Fighting Flu. Families yeah. Fighting Flu Organization. Yeah, let's touch to that. Yes. Uh, family Fighting Family Fighting Flu is an organization that exists to um, just pro provide awareness and advocacy and support to people that have been impacted or affected by the flu. Um, like Dr. Munoz mentioned, um, you can go there to read other stories of people that have had lasting impact from the flu or to also get resources on how to deal with the flu or how to support a family member that might be dealing with loss from the flu. Um, so much information and uh, so many tips on how to prevent flu virus, um, especially like reasons to vaccinate. So you can check it out, familiesfightingflu.org. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so, so much. much. Tosh, Dr. Munoz, we appreciate it so much. It's vital information and it's important to get vaccinated. Thank you so much uh, for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with lots more on Ozarks Fox AM. Stick around. They were live in Houston. Yes, oh yeah, very yes. good. Very that was good. interesting to know. It really was. Yeah. It's scary. It's, I had no idea.